I feel plants are the nicest beings on this planet. They never harm anyone. Rather, they get eaten all the time. Oops! I guess some eat too. And that's why I am here today to tell you about plants that eat meat. Come with me. Zoom in! Plants that capture prey such as insects, spiders, mites and eat meat for their survival are known as insectivorous or carnivorous plants. Most of the carnivorous plants live in wet boggy areas where the soil doesn't have much nutrients. They derive their nutrients from their prey and whatever little nutrients available to them through soil. They have a strong digestive system which helps break down complex food items. The different types of carnivorous plants are Pitfall Traps Popularly known as pitcher plants. They are pitcher plants because they look like pitcher shaped vessels filled with fluid. The insect is lured by the syrupy fluid and just when they come to drink it they get drowned. Some pitcher plants have a lid on them to trap their prey. Flypaper Traps Some flypaper traps have leaves covered with a sticky substance on which the prey gets caught. These plants also digest their prey through their leaves. Other kind of flypaper traps use tentacle like stalks covered with glands to trap and digest insects. Their stalks have digestive soup on them to absorb the nutrients. Snap Traps Venus flytrap is the most popular snap trap. Here the plant has mouth like leaves that literally snap shut when an insect or spider lands on it. There are some snap traps that are found under water and they are known as water wheel plants. They do the same thing but under water. Bladder Traps Plants of this kind work in the most interesting way. Where there are sacs on the plant known as bladders that create vacuum and suck the insect to digest it later. Lobster Pot Traps The plant first lures its insects with its sweet smelling nectar. Once the insect is trapped inside, it sees light shining through the leaves, which looks like exits. To escape, the insect travels towards the light, which is nothing but another trap. This is the plant's way of actually misdirecting the insect to the inside of the pitcher, where it is caught and eaten by the digestive liquids. Trivia time! Some pitcher plants are so large they can catch and consume rats and frogs. Some carnivorous plants reflect ultraviolet light to attract their prey. Hey, don't go there! Wait, I'll help you! Ugh. Ugh. Let go! Ugh. So, this is me zooming out. Tune in next time for more fun facts.